EasyDraw is available with free market licensing from EasyDraw.com and with iTunes licensing from the Mac App Store. 2D vector drawing applications such as EasyDraw use a painter's algorithm to determine the drawing order for the elements of a drawing. A classical artist will paint first the distant parts of the scene before parts that are nearby. The paint of the nearby elements will cover over portions of the distant scene. A traditional painter like Van Gogh would paint the mountains first, which are in the furthest background of the painting. Then he would add the meadows, which are one step forward to the mountains. And then he would add the trees, which are in front of everything else in the painting. Let me show you what I mean by saying EasyDraw's painter's algorithm is exactly the same. So for an example, I'm going to select one of the trees here, let's say this one. And you can see as I'm dragging it over that this covers up everything I drag it over, including all the other trees. So this tree is in front of everything else in this painting. A new graphic is added to the front of the drawing. It will cover up previously drawn elements. In the terms of the Easy Draw user interface, we would say the new graphic is at the front of the drawing. Everything else is behind the new element. Alright, so let me give you an example here. I'm going to draw a rectangle here. You see, even though this is just an outline of a rectangle, it's still in front of everything else on this drawing. Now with uh, the color filled in as a gradient fill, you can clearly see the rectangle is covering up everything else on this drawing. It is in front of everything else on the drawing. This is exactly how it would be if Van Gogh or let's say Monet was to paint this with oils. Each graphic element of a drawing is assigned a number or index. These indices for each graphic of a drawing define the drawing order of all graphics in a drawing. Each time EasyDraw refreshes your screen or prints to a printer, each graphic is drawn one at a time, in its entirety, in sequence, according to the drawing order index. This beautiful drawing of the bee that you see was contributed by Essa Holopanian, a Finnish cartoonist that gave this drawing to EasyDraw and added it to the contributions pack. Now on the left side you see the graphic details panel. Again, just a quick reminder that we did a tutorial about the graphic details panel called the graphic details tutorial. If you want to open this panel up, just go to tools, graphic details, it's selected right now. If you turn it off and you can turn it back on like this. Now right at the top you see an index number. Let's say I'm going to select uh, a part of this drawing. Let's say I'm going to select the B. The index number is 17. Let's say I want to select a flower. This flower right here, the index number is 3. Let's say I want to select this leaf down here. The index number is 15. 
and you see down here at the bottom of the graphic details panel where it says count and there's a number 18 that number shows us how many graphics we have now keep in mind this is an index so by convention counting starts at 0 0 is drawn first and then in this case 17 which is one less than the count number here is drawn last so well let's say we enter not 170 that would be bad let's say we enter 17 and it shows us that the B is number 17 that's the last drawing that we have now just, an ex just as an example let's move the B around and we can see that the B is the topmost drawing here it's on top of everything else it's in front of everything else on this drawing the drawing order can be changed using the send menu command the term send is the common term used in computer graphics the send menu is found on the main tools menu near the bottom on the send menu forward means to move the graphic one step towards the front backward moves one step toward the back front takes the selected graphic to the top and back makes the selected graphic the first drawn in drawing order okay well if you want to find send you go to the main tools menu here and go down to send and these are the options to front to back forward and backward we have this purple and blue flower selected here so let's do a couple of examples and see what will happen we are going to move this to the side a little bit so you can see better then we go to tools send let's say we say send to back you see that the flower totally disappears but we can still see the handles let's say we go send to front and now the flower is even on top of the bee and it's on top of its uh, middle portion too now let's go tools send backward now it's behind the B now keep your eye on the index here and how it changes as I play around with sending back and sending to front and all that with this flower okay we're going to choose send and we are going to send it to the front it became number 17 now we are going to choose send we are going to send it backward became number 16 now we are going to choose send and send it to back and it became number 0 the first thing that's drawn some drawing projects will involve frequent use of the send tools. The menu commands can quickly become tedious. The shortcut keys can help, but button tools are generally the most convenient. There are two ways to add send buttons to your workspace. You can customize the toolbar and add specific send tools. The arrange tool palette has a tab with the send tools and a handy drawing order index inspector. There are a set of send buttons that are often available in the attributes bar. Alright, well the way to get to the arrange tool palette is to go on format, go down to align and size, click on arrange, and you get this tool palette right here and you want to click on the send tab there you go now this one 
is a bit hidden and hard to find, but it is my favorite when a lot of drawing order work is needed. Or if you want to have the send tools up here in the main toolbar, you can quickly do a quick customize, which we've done a tutorial video on before. And you go down here and you find the send tools right there. And all you do is click and drag them up. Now you have the send front, send back, forward and backward buttons, but you also have the send menu button right here, which basically does all of these. And all you have to do to access them is a really quick click and you can access all the four functions right from the send menu button. Of course, for your convenience, we have the attributes bar that also features the send buttons right here. Front, forward, backward, and back. EasyDraw is available with free market licensing from easydraw.com and with iTunes licensing from the Mac App Store.